What's going on guys, it's Hagen aka Helios, and in today's video I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate guide to the new map Ancient Evil from DLC 2 of Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now just before and I want to let you guys know that this is not an easter egg guide in any means necessary, this is actually just a guide to help you guys understand how to get the wonder weapons, how to get the shield, and all the essentials that will help you with the easter egg as well as high rounding. Now if you guys do end up enjoying this video, if you could drop a like, that would be greatly appreciated, but with that out of the way, let's get right into the guide. So the first thing we're going to go over is getting the Sentinel Artifact and activating it within the amphitheater now if you guys follow exactly how i'm going in this recording then you'll find yourselves at the amphitheater and all you have to do is hold square and it's going to activate and all these skeletons are going to come after you you just have to kill them uh, because it's just a time-based thing because eventually there's going to be normal zombies that are going to spawn and then eventually pegasus will come in and then he'll kill the rest of the zombies and then you'll be able to get a max ammo and the sentinel artifact will go off and unlock the rest of the map for you Alright, so the next thing that we're going to go over is how to build these shields. So the first part has three locations in this area in the upper road. So what you're going to have to end up doing is going over past the bridge and on the left side on this column is a spawn location. The second place where it can spawn is actually going to be right here on this boulder right before you cross the bridge. And the third and final spot where it can spawn is going to be right here on this ledge at the very bottom of the bridge. Now the second part location is actually going to be here in the intersection of treasuries right here. And the second spot it can spawn is right here at the Stoa of the Athenian. And then the third and final one can be at the intersection of treasures right here in this garden. Now the third and final piece is actually going to be inside one of these four or five armed guys. What you're going to have to do is you're going to end up killing him. And once you do that, the part's actually going to drop on the ground and you're going to be able to pick it up and just go ahead and build the shield right after that. Now once you have all the parts, you just head over to the marketplace and there's going to be a building table. It's the only one on the map and you just go ahead and build the shield. Now this shield is insane. It's honestly probably my favorite shield in BO4. I mean, it's it throws black holes. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, it looks insane and it definitely is very powerful. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to go over is how to open up Pack-a-Punch and you only really need two parts. Now the first one is going to be over here on this pedestal and if it's not there then you can head over towards this one and it's definitely going to be there. But once you grab this it is going to spawn a four armed guy. Now once you do have this part the only other one you'll need is the Sentinel Artifact and then you'll be ready to go and head over towards where the Zeus perk is and that's where the Pegasus is going to be and uh, he's going to pick you up and you're going to make your way over to where Pack-a-Punch is. Now you are going to go through a cut scenes the next step into getting pack punch unlocked is actually to release the eagles of zeus now what you have to end up doing is shooting these bird cages with your specialist so the first one is actually on the ground right here and you can just shoot it with your specialist the second one's going to be strung up in the air and you actually have to shoot it down before you use your specialist so i'd recommend getting an smg or something that has range and shooting it down and then going ahead and switching to your specialist so you can go ahead and release the bird now what's going to end up happening is those birds are actually going to be attacking these crystals which will release pack a bunch and you'll be able to upgrade your weapons as well as adding additional ammo types all right so the next thing that we're going to go over is how to get the pegasus strike now the first part can actually be found right here underneath this column right as you spawn into the pack a punch and then the second piece can be found behind where you spawn right here on the top of these rocks the third and final spawn location for this part is actually going to be in here in this fire and then you'll be ready to get the second part and the second part can be found behind these bones in the python pass the second spot it can be is right here or right across from the bones underneath this light. And the third and final spawn location can be right here on the python pass. And the third part can be found right here behind the column. Or it can be right across from the last spawn location on this rock. And then the third and final spot can be right here in the cliff ruins. And then once you have all those pieces you can go ahead and head over towards the forge and on this little rock candle it place you can actually build it. And once you do build it it is available in the box for the rest of your players in your game. And it is really insane. I mean it's like a spear that you throw down and Pegasus just spawns in shooting lightning and it's saved my ass more times than I'd like to mention. Alright, so the next tutorial we're going to be doing is how to get the wonder weapons in the map. Now, this is going to be a very hard process in the beginning because at first you need to get these dormant hands and they can only be found in 20 locations of the map. So I'm going to show you all 20 locations right now. So if you look right here in this crystal, it's going to be one location right here and second location can be right down the stairs right here at the bottom of this mound. And 
the third location can be found right over here and the fourth location can be found across from that on the fountain right here next location can be found on the bottom of this column right here in a vase and then it can also be found in these bushes right here and if you continue down by the zeus perk right across from it it can spawn in right here and then across from the guy a portal it can be right here and then the last location in this area of the map is going to be behind the sword in the ground. So these next locations are going to be all in the underworld or in the Pack-a-Punch area, whatever you want to call it. So one spawn location is right there as you spawn in. Another one is right in front of the Odin perk. And then the next one can be found right near the forge right there in the corner. And then next on the table across from that. The next location can be found right here in the cliff ruins. And then here right next to the bridge. And then across from the across from pack a punch it can be found right here and then behind pack a punch there's also a location there and then right by the poison trap there can be a location here and then by the titan wall by it can spawn in right there and then finally right here in the python pass Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to build the wonder weapons. Now, you can do this in any order, but I'm going to start with the Hand of Chiron. Now, you have to be in these circles that are corresponding to the wonder weapons. You have to stay in them for a short period of time. But after staying in that time, you can actually pick up the weapon and use it. Now, this is not its final form, so I'm going to show you how to upgrade this hand. So, what you're going to have to do is come over towards the Odin perk in this little pool of water. And you have to get kills with the gauntlet. And you have to kill at least 15 zombies. And once you do, it's going to prompt you to drink the water. Now, once you drink the water, you're going to have to find these up coins all around the map this is only going to be in the pack a bunch area but if you go around it clockwise you can find them i mean they're see through the wall and you can actually find them all fairly easy i mean i found all of them in my first try there are going to be fake ones and there are going to be real ones but you have to pay attention to which ones are real and which ones are fake because you need at least four for all of them So once you have all those together, you can actually open up the portal for this gauntlet trial. So once you enter the portal, you're going to be prompted to hold down the trigger so you can activate your ultimate ability. You have the ultimate gauntlet in your possession now. After you finish killing all the zombies in a certain amount of time, a portal will open up and you'll be able to travel through. So the next gauntlet I'm going to show you guys is how to unlock the gauntlet of Gaia. Now you have to come over here towards the Zeus perk and in this green circle, again it's the same process, stay in the circle for a certain period of time and you'll be able to get the gauntlet. Now once you have the gauntlet, you'll just grab it and you'll be able to start the upgrade process. This one is probably the easiest in my opinion. So what you're going to have to do is go around the map and find these trees and shoot them three times and you're going to pick up a sapling. Now I'm going to show you where all three locations are. So the first one is right here and once you grab the sapling, you're not going to be able to sprint and you're not going to be able to jump so i'd recommend keeping a zombie that way you won't have to run too far or have to worry about getting down but once you grab the sapling take it over to where the shrine of gaia is and just place it in you're gonna have to do three of these so here's the second location for the tree And then finally, the third location is going to be right here. Now, once you have all these saplings, you're going to head back to the Temple of Gaia, place them all like I mentioned. And then once you do that, a portal is going to open and you're going to begin a trial just like the previous gauntlet. You're going to have to learn its ultimate ability. And then it's a timed process. You have to make sure that you kill all the zombies. Make sure you don't die. And once you're done, you can go through the portal and continue into the next gauntlet. Now, the next gauntlet is actually going to be the gauntlet of Hathera. It's going to be here over by the yellow shrine, and you just have to make sure that you stay in the circle once again. And once you're out of the circle, you can use the gauntlet and start the upgrade process. So the first thing is you're going to have to come over here towards this mirror, and you have to shoot it a couple times, and then shoot it with your gauntlet so the light bounces off it. Now, it took me a couple tries to get this right, so make sure you guys are bouncing the light instead of just having it go the wrong way. But once you have the light bouncing into the crystal, you're going to find this little bowl and you're going to melee it and you're going to have to take it all the way back to where the shrine of Hathera was and you're going to knife the bowl that's already there so you can place it into the shrine. And you're going to do this three times to make sure you can upgrade the gauntlet. Now the second location is over here by the bridge. And again, it's the same process. Just make sure you shoot it enough to where the light bounces off, hits the crystal and into the bowl. And again, melee the bowl and take it back to the shrine. Now the third location is over here in the temple terrace. And you're going to hit the crystal there. 
Now once the shrine is completed, it will light up and allow a portal to spawn and you'll be able to use the ultimate ability for this gauntlet. Now again, it's the same process, just last long enough and you'll be able to teleport back. Now the final gauntlet is going to be the Hand of Oranos, and that's going to be in this blue area by Pack-a-Punch and like all the same ones before you stand in the blue area until it's ready to be picked up and once you pick it up you can start the upgrade immediately so there's going to be a feather right by Pack-a-Punch you're going to hit a zombie against the feather and it's going to drop it and all you have to do is shoot it in the air and it's going to go naturally towards the direction of where the altar was so you just have to shoot it to keep it in the air until it goes naturally inside. So the second feather is actually going to be over here by the red ritual and so again it hit the feather with a zombie and then just shoot all the way until it hits the ritual stand now this is gonna be a little bit difficult from here because you're gonna have zombies behind you and it is pretty far so you're gonna have to like, kind of snipe it but eventually you will get it because it naturally goes that way and again the third and final feather location is gonna be right here by the mystery box spawn and you're just gonna shoot it again it's gonna go naturally towards the ritual table so again keep shooting it it's gonna be a little difficult again because it is a little far but once you do end up shooting it all the way across the feather will drop and you're gonna be able to go inside the portal now this portal is the same as all the others before you get the ultimate ability and you get to hold it down and then you just complete the trial and go through the portal and you'll have all of your gauntlets upgraded Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could drop a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and turn on those post notifications. If you guys want me to do another guide, let me know down in the comment section below. I know there is a secondary upgrade that was found a little bit after I started making this video. So if you guys want me to make a tutorial on that, drop a like, comment down below, and I'll be sure to make it. I didn't include it in this video because, again, in the beginning, I said this was just the essentials to get the Easter egg done or to do high rounds. And the Easter egg was solved before the upgrades were even found. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you guys in the next video.